Why did you choose Finland? This is a question I have got the most during my four year life in Finland. When I meet someone new and tell them that I moved to Finland for my master's degree, many people here become curious why I chose Finland, not other countries like UK, Germany, or North America. To be fair, Finland was not my first choice. However, after I decided to follow my intuition and go with the flow at some point of my life, I ended up in Finland as a result of all the dots getting connected to each other. This story can be traced back to nearly 25 years ago when I started playing football. I was a big fan of FC Barcelona and my hero back then was Ronaldinho. One day, I was watching UEFA Champions League held in the 2004 2005 season on TV. During the halftime of the game, the Japanese TV program was showing beautiful street scenes of European cities. It was accompanied with a beautiful song from Fleetwood Mac called Gypsy. That made me take an interest in European countries and even dream about living in Europe someday. When I was 20 years old, I got an opportunity to study in Vancouver as an exchange student. Life in Vancouver was great, and I fell in love with the cosmopolitan city with rich nature and people with diverse backgrounds. During my student life at the University of British Columbia, I met quite many European students and realized that many of them were aiming to pass a master's degree. Since it's not very common to continue to master's degree after bachelor's degree in Japan, I got curious about studying in Europe. Also, as a football fan, Europe had been my dream destination, thus, I started wondering if it's possible for me to study there someday. That's how I got the idea of doing my master's degree in Europe. After I graduated from university in Japan, I started working. The idea of passing master's degree in Europe always remained active even if I had busy working life in a traditional Japanese company. After two years, I started preparing to apply for schools in Europe. The first idea that came to my mind was applying for some schools in Barcelona. The reason was quite simple. I was a fan of FC Barcelona and I simply thought that it would be cool to study there and watch football games on the weekend. I actually visited Barcelona to see how the city and schools are like and I did some research as well. I loved Barcelona. However, I found out critical issues as well. First, tuition fee can be pretty expensive for international students from outside of the EU. Second, it seemed that the school systems are not as organized as other EU countries. Even though my trip to Spain was fun, I needed to start over. To find schools to apply somewhere else in Europe. Luckily, we live in a modern world where we can find plenty of info we need online. I opened my laptop and googled, like, Europe, master degree, free. Then Google showed me several European countries that basically offer free education to foreigners, which was Germany, Norway, Estonia. And Finland. 
After doing some research, I found two schools in Finland and one school in Norway that had master's degree programs in the specific area I was interested in. So I applied for those three schools. I didn't know much about Finland, but at least I had good image and was able to associate Finland with some of the cultural stuff, such as sauna, Mumin, Marimekko, Santa Claus, and Northern Lights. Also, I found out that Finnish and Japanese people have many similarities and Finnish culture seemed intriguing too. Plus, somehow my intuition whispered to me that Finland is the right country. After a couple months, I got the results. I got rejected from the school in Norway, but luckily I got accepted from the two schools in Finland. I chose one of them by taking the school curriculum, the location and the reputation into consideration. I know some people who had been eager to study in Finland for a long time with clear reasons. However, as I mentioned, my pathway wasn't like that. I didn't have cool-sounded, specific reasons when I chose Finland. It was more like I was going with the flow as a result of the dots getting connected to each other. All of these actions were not planned at all beforehand. I had no idea what the next chapter of life will bring me in each phase, but one dot led me to the next dot, and then to the next one again. As a result of the dots getting connected, I ended up moving to Finland. After the series of decisions and actions, I arrived in Finland with two big suitcases big expectations and some concerns. One thing I can now be sure is that coming to Finland was one of the best decisions I've ever made so far. Of course, life is an interweaving of different roads, so there are and there will always be challenges. However, I will try my best and try to enjoy every single moment so that I will still be saying that coming to Finland was one of the best decisions I've ever made after 10, 20 and 30 years as well.